What is up YouTube, Alex here. And in today's video, I'll show you how to use the new TWS desktop app for option trading. This new desktop app is really cool because it's similar to these Robinhood account, but you're also getting the benefit of having a good broker, which is amazing. So as usual, all the best tools will be linked in the description. Don't forget to check that out. Let's get right in. As you can see over here, I already have a chart set up. If you wanna do that, uh, when you open the application, I'm in the demo version just because on this one, you can't really hide your account over here. But what you need to have pretty much is just you open it. This is what it's going to bring you to. It's going to have your portfolio, daily PL, unrealized, realized, and all of this stuff. And also, then if you have a watch list, stuff that you're looking at. And this is going to be synced with what you have in your TWS normal account. Or if you have something on your mobile app, everything will be synced. And it's actually pretty interesting. So at least if you have a few watch lists, you can create them and have it all sync everywhere. So the next thing you have over here is just codes. This is where I'm going to be looking for the option or option chain. And then you have a screener if you want to build a screener. And also if you're looking for news, it's going to be in this section. So now let's go back to the option section because this is why we're here. So when you load the section for just, you know, your um, codes, you're going to have to click on the option and then you might not see this section over here. You might get like a different one, which is going to be, it's going to be the lattice view. And it's also a pretty weird way of seeing option as a whole. Um, it's going to have you some dots with what the options are out of the money in the money and so on and so forth. And I don't really like this. I like to really look at the list view, which is what I'm really used to. And I think for most people, this is what they're going to be used to also. So when we jump to this section right now, we have MSTR because it did make a big move. If we look at this chart, you no know, made a significant move. You know, the important level was the lower day, which was this uh, 1823. So when we go back over here, we can look at our chart. Also, if we wanted to look at just the chart, but if you want to go back to your option chain and see how much something moved, for example, you can click on the option that you like, and then you can go back to your chart and it's going to bring you, you know, the option move and everything that happened, right? When we broke that lower day right over here, the option spiked to 84 bucks all the way from something like 737, pretty good move. So that's why options sometimes are interesting to look at. So going back to option chain, we have over here the, the puts and also the calls, which is very typical. What I like to do is look at at least 20 strike. And I think it's mostly going to be the good thing to do because depending on the price of the option or how much something can move, you do have to look sometime further to see also if there's a lot of implied volatility but also if there's open interest and so on and so forth. To look at this, you can click your plus button and then you're going to go into your options section and then you can look at open interest. So over here, you can add your open interest. Now it's added and you can also make this bigger so you can see the full detail of it. If you want to see this in a different manner, what you can do is really look at the mirror view and it's going to have a different way of seeing it. But for me, uh, I just look at the standard, which is totally fine for me. So right now, um, there's a few other things that you can do, that, which are quite important, is if you want to look at this and say, I want to build a certain strategy, so on and so forth, you click on Strategy Builder, and then you're going to be able to select, um, for example, want to sell a vertical call. So you, we're going to buy this one, and we're going to sell uh, this one, for example. And then you're going to be able to see over here, what is the dynamic of your trade? So how much am I going to pay? The break even is going to be 1758 in terms of price, max return 870, max loss 3130. So if it fits your criteria, then you can go and put on your trade. You can say order ticket and then you can submit buy if it's what you want to do. Sorry for the interruption, but while I was recording this video, I forgot to talk about the option route which is kind of important. So when I'm trading option, I mostly use just market order if the bid and the ask is tight enough. But if it gets really wide in some cases, then I'll try to figure out any routes that's going to work. And normally all the routes when it comes to option are pretty decent, but there's always a smart one that you can choose with interactive broker. 
which is the one I think you should be using. This is just my personal opinion. And it's probably the only case that you should use a limit order to you know figure out which price you're gonna be getting to limit slippage. But for the most part, if the bid and the ask is tight, I'm just gonna market order that option just because I really wanna get in when I want to get in. And the most important for me is to not miss the trade when a big trade is going to happen. If you wanna just you know buy something or sell something, you can just click over here on the ask because you're gonna be purchasing it, acknowledge, and then after enter the quantity you want. And after that, it's gonna tell you the price. So this is gonna cost me 8.5 USD. And also the break even for this trade is gonna be this price. So the stock needs to be at 1696. Max return, max loss is going to be there. This is really interesting because when you're trading option, there's always implied volatility and also the, the normal option Greek, which is not sometimes that simple to know at what point you're getting paid off. Because if we look at this chart and you decide to buy a $1,700 put, it doesn't mean when you go to the option chain that this one is going to be the proper, the appropriate amount to get paid even if you buy this and even if it goes in the money because there's a high implied volatility and so on and so forth. And this is why it's important to really look at your break-even point and other data when it comes to option because here we see it's really, really inflated. Normally, this is really what I look for over here. I just look at either multi-chart and then I put two of them on a bigger screen or a different layout you can put it this way and then i'll have one which is going to be the option and then you can unsync it over here and just look for like a different stock or something let's go for spy and then i'll look at normally the stock what is the price traded for the stock and also what is the tr uh, price traded for the option but as I said, this is not going to be my really main uh, trading platform or analysis platform, but I really like it when it comes to option trading just because of the simplicity of the option chain, which I think is a really big improvement for people that are not really into all the other tools, but just want to purchase a call or a put or even just looking for a swing trade position and not have to open a really deep application. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, like and subscribe and let me know what you want to see next. Peace.